quite colourful. Well, some of the driver on the pitch. Well, some of the driver on the pitch. They think it's all over, but it is now. Bill, I'm leaving you. I'm sorry it's come to this, but I'm certain that it's best for both of us. Oh, you bastard. I'll pack some things together and go tonight. I can come back for the rest of my stuff sometime when you're out. Sorry, love. Can this wait till half time? I can't really concentrate on what you're saying. Bill, I'm leaving you. I'm sorry it's come to this, but I'm certain that it's best for both of us. you go to Pam's or is there someone else? There's someone else. Do I know him? Sort of. Sort of. I sort of know him. Yes, sort of. A mate of mine, is it? Not Ian. No. Do I like him, this bloke? Yes, you like him. Well, it's definitely not Ian then. Bill. I am leaving you after eight years of sometimes not too unhappy marriage, and I'm going to live with Gary Lineker. Oh, I'd never have got that. Do you understand me? I said I am going to live with Gary Lineker. Of Spurs and England, yes. Well, aren't you going to say anything? Gary Lineker, eh? Well done. Brilliant. Look, you're upset. I can tell. No, I... no, I'm not. I mean, anybody else, obviously, it would have been a bit of a blow, but Gary Lineker. I mean, just look at his record. 31 goals and 51 internationals. The guy's a bloody hero. I hope you'll be very happy together. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, I'll, I'll go and pack some things together. Will you be all right? Me? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. The second half's on in a minute. Then they've got all the goals from yesterday. Well, you've all seen Josic. He's always looks a threat on me, doesn't he? The number six. He's up there now. And he's in there now. And he nearly got a flick and the ball hasn't come out. He's gone straight through to Stoikovic. There's another cross on the keeper. See? If it was as easy as that, I'd do it tomorrow. If I really was having an affair with Gary Lineker, it would just be really easy to know what I wanted to do. But I'm not. So it isn't. Monica? Yes? Do you think you'll get married to him? I don't know! Because if you did, you'd be Monica Lineker. <laughs> It's July the 1st, 1990, and we're on a plane to Ibiza. This is my husband, Bill. He's a mature man, a man respected in the world of publishing. He has a first-class degree in English literature from York University, and at the moment, he's filling in his World Cup wall chart. This is his second World Cup ball chart. His original World Cup ball chart caught fire in mysterious circumstances. Annoyingly, he was actually pleased to have to do it all over again. I'd kill 
know for a fact now. Lights on. I'll divorce you, Monica, if we miss this game. We'll be landing in a minute. It's about bloody time. What are we doing flying on a match day anyway? You've got to know it'd be delayed. Eight minutes to kick off. Seems to be in the tunnel by now. Come on, come on. Dive. Oh, it doesn't matter if you miss the beginning, does it? too much of Ian, are we? Come on, Monica, don't start. Of all the people to go on holiday with. He's not on holiday with us. He just happens to be in Ibiza at the same time as us, that's all. You know, we'll probably hardly see him. Once or twice. The odd drink, maybe. Got his bloody pickled onions on holiday with us. So, when we see him, we'll give him back to him and that'll be the end of it, OK? Mm. Look, I'll leave it a couple of days before I call him, OK? Get back to the hotel before our time. Come on. Ian. <laughs> you didn't have to come and meet us. No trouble. When did you get in? Yesterday. Right. Well, let's get a cab. Dan Hudson, isn't he one of yours? Yeah, he is. wonder where he is, the stupid bastard. Oh, don't tell me you've lost another author. I haven't lost him, I've just mislaid him. In Burma somewhere. Senorita Taxi! Taxi! Hey, English! Football! Taxi! Anyway, there's a beach near here that has pedalos, apparently. And this morning I found a cafe that does English breakfast all day. So that's me sorted. I'm a bit knackered, so we're going to shoot off to the hotel. I'll, um, I'll give you a call, OK? That's all right. My hotel is only five minutes walk. Oh, did you bring my... Oh, no, no, no. Yes. 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 Uh, Cameroon. Uh, <laughs> I think he's after a tip. I'll give him a tip. Watch the sodding road.
Up nine, one nil, let's go. television, I can't believe it. It's the most expensive hotel I've ever been in and there's no bastard television. What am I going to do? Oh, it's bound to be a TV lounge somewhere. Right. Now this one goes yeah. out to the Cameroon football team. We are proud of them. Maka Naki. <laughs> well, I'm football crazy. I'm football mad. Football is the nicest game that I have ever had. I want in the Cameroon to win the World Cup. But they put Africa on the football if you love the Cameroon, pam pam, lick a shot if you love the Cameroon, pam pam, lick a shot if you love the Cameroon, pam pam, lick a shot if you love the Cameroon. They used to say that Africa no had no footballer, and all they used to have is long distance runner, but the football world start to respect Africa. <laughs> If you love the Cameroon, bam bam, lick a shot if you love the Cameroon. Then reach the quarter final of the competition. Pop up on the boy, then fall in line. Cameroon stay like some football done. Cameroon a play and Cameroon a match it up. I make King Rand King look like Puff Puff. The seven minutes left and then two one cup. Everyone a pay for England get dog But the know I said the England came full of luck Then get to penalty, man it's sick, me thumb up Cameroon, when them run up and down and walk In a every position England get kick up Me not know how England win that They want they were lucky, lucky, very lucky, lucky Two, Platt, Lineker, two, brackets, two pens, brackets. Good. Done my shirt. What breed of man is it who brings pickled onions on holiday with him? He didn't have room in his bag. Well, that's his trouble, Ian. He's never got any room in his bag. I hope you realise that doesn't actually mean anything. Listen, I don't want to make another speech about Ian. Good, because I don't want to hear another he one. He was my best, best friend, friend at school. school. He's got a good heart. Well, that's why Tate sacked him, I suppose. He wasn't sacked. He was rationalised. <laughs> it's not a good time for publishing. Yeah, it's all right in this place. I'd love a cigarette. I bet Gary Lineker doesn't smoke. Bet he doesn't fart. He's so perfect. If he does, they smell a perfume. Gary Lineker, the queen mother of football. He's got nice legs and a nice smile. And most men get away with a lot less than that. Do you think I've got a nice smile? bet Gary Lineker doesn't snore. Oh, I can't help it. You know I can't. I know. One of the first things you ever said to me, I snore like a wildebeest with a drink problem. Yeah, I used to say that. It was quite a turn on, actually. Do you 
fancy something to eat. Okay. Because I said we'd meet Ian in this restaurant in the town. Oh, what? When did you say that? Just now he rang up. Oh, do we really have to? Ian is an irritating man, I know that. So why'd you have to have him round all the time? Well, where else is he going to go? What do I care? You have to spend half your bloody time talking about him. Bill. I thought the whole point of this holiday was that we'd have some time together. To talk about things. We've got five days. So, how can you afford somewhere so swanky? Well... Tates are planning this big new European hotel guide. Really? Not really, no. Uh... Oh, and uh, talking of life's little luxuries, I've got something for you. Monica. Cheers. Mm. So, what's this surprise of yours then, Ian? Here she comes now. Oh, Ian. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Bill, Monica, Mrs. Begita. She's a German. Pleased to meet you. And you. Can I get you a drink? Oh, oh yes. Gita beer for Begita. <laughs> it's very helpful for me to practice my English with the English people. They speak English so well. Almost as well as the Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told you about the bathroom in my hotel room yet, have I? It's quite ingenious, actually, because it's only about sort of this big. The sink's here, right, and the pipe from the plug hole goes straight down into the toilet, which makes it rather difficult to sit on the toilet when you want to, you know, sit on the toilet. What, for a shit, you mean? Yes. The shower's up here, right, and there's some taps here, and there's some taps down by the floor, which I didn't understand at first. But when I tried them, they turned the toilet into a bidet. Incredible. I couldn't work it out at first. And I brushed my teeth, and the spit went down the plug hole, out of the pipe, and into my slippers. I've got it sussed out now, though. You never guess what I did earlier. What? I simultaneously had a shit, a shower, a shave, and a shampoo. Fantastic. I thought so. I couldn't think of anything else that began with shit that I could do. I'd have done it. You could have shot yourself. I know. You could have had a shag. A shag? Colloquial English. You have a shag, of course, when you are renty, I think. Well, not every time. Hardly ever. Excuse me, I need to go to the little boy's room. Yeah, me too. So, what does Birgitta make of it all, then? You what? What does she think of your hotel room? Well, I don't know. Don't tell me you haven't taken her back there yet. I would I want to do that for? There's hardly room to swing a cat there. Has she got a cat? No. Well, then, if there's a bed, there's room enough to make the two-backed beast. The what? The two-backed beast, you know, two backs, four legs, four arms, two heads. Are you sure you've got this right? Yes. You know... How many livers has it got? God, forget it. Well, I can't forget it now you mentioned it. And I see all the David Atten Barras. Two backs. How many hearts? Two. And only one brain. And only one set of genitals, by the sound of things. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Does it have sex? But that's all it's sodding does. I mean, surely you've heard this before. The two back beast. It's two people. It's two people having sex. In my room. Look, let me put this another way. Have you knobbed her? That's all I wanted to know. Mind your own business. You haven't. Fine. Cigarette beer? Um, yeah. Thanks. Like? Uh, no thanks. Stick it behind me here. Smoke it later. Oh, but it is no good there. If you wish to inhale, you will need to be putting it in your mouth. Oh! Oh, what? Is this correct? You will need to be putting it in your mouth? Yes, yes, I suppose it is. This is my first effort. 
spontaneous use of the future continuous infinitive. Congratulations. Perhaps soon I will use a future perfect continuous. Which is? Uh, we'll have been doing. So at the end of this year, I will have been studying English for 10 years. Uh, by half past eight on Wednesday, England will have been beating West Germany in the semi-final for half an hour. Very good. Soon you will have been speaking English like a native. Yeah, like a native German. <laughs> <laughs> you fancy the gate or something, Bill? Me play. No! Okay, touch. English, talk the most first. Oh, Gary Lineker! Yes, Gary Lineker! Miss Thatcher! <laughs> this child is insufferably cute. Yes. Okay. Okay? Yes, machine. Remaining in the European Cup final, it's Spurs one, Real Madrid one. A lot resting now on Bill Lineker's experienced shoulders. He scored early on with that blistering volley, but since then the big Spanish sweeper Mendoza has kept him quiet by and large. Lineker has the ball. He's past Suarez. He's past Mendoza. He's past the pool. He's made a lot of space here as Lineker for himself. He must score now. Surely it's a terrific run. He must score, and he has done it. Delight on his face there. Getting quite nervous now. In two hours, we could be in the World Cup final. Germany's going to win. Do you know that? Nah. Oh, we've got a chance. I mean, come on. You never thought Argentina would get through, would you? semi-final, you know. Yes. It's football, isn't it? 
No, well, that's good, actually, because that puts Ian over there next to the lovely beer Gita. Oh. Why do you have to call her the lovely beer Gita? Well, she is lovely, isn't she? That's how he talks. The lovely beer Gita. You sound <laughs> just like him sometimes. Well, at least I haven't referred to her as my Teutonic psychic yet, have I? Couldn't believe it when he said that. <laughs> it was gross. Careful. Nearly criticised him then. That would never do. I think Birgitta actually does fancy him, you know. Is that why she spent two hours on the dance floor with you last night? We were talking about him. Better than talking to him, which is what you left me doing. And it's England versus West Germany. Why is she going to want to watch it with a bunch of English people? If Germany win, you'll probably sling her off the balcony. Oh, yeah. You know how you get during football games? Yes, but I'm hardly going to hit her, though, am I? Unless, of course, they win on penalties, in which case I'll cut her throat, the goose-stepping bitch. Oh, the crowd are arriving. Shield down! Shield down! Go and get your kill down! Shield down! Ian, give me an S! Hey? Come in. Beer Gita not with you? Ah, the lovely Beer Gita, my Teutonic psychic. She's coming, yeah, she's just paying the cab driver. Oh, I'll put some beer. Uh, hello, Beer Gita, nice to see you. Hello, Bill. Hello, everyone. Hi. Can I put this somewhere? Indeed. And I bought you a present, Monica. Here. Get some perfume. Thank you. Someone left it behind in my hotel room and Birgitta didn't want it, so I thought I might as well give it to you. You still smell quite a lot of pickled onions, actually. I don't know whether you noticed that. You sit here, Birgitta? Drink. Oh, yes. Gita beer for Birgitta. Ian, has it ever occurred to you that a joke that is not funny remains not funny, however often you repeat it. It becomes even less funny, in fact, and then finally it becomes extremely irritating. Mm, who rattled your cage? I am not so sure. I have heard this joke by Ian 11 or 12 times, and at this beginning, finally, to become something of an epic. The poor quality of the joke is making heroic the persistent telling of it. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> Why don't you get the geese a drink here? Well, I'm just nicely settled now. Have you got any tea? No, there's no tea. This place is far too expensive to have facilities. I've got a kettle in my room. I was quite pleased when I saw that. Oh, what, you brought some coffee and stuff? No, no point. No, I suppose not. It's only one more day, isn't it? No, there's no point in the room to plug it into. Some wine, that big eater. You haven't got any. We can get some on room service. It'll be expensive. What the hell? It's the World Cup semi-final. Champagne. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, this is Mr. Despacker's room five. I'm in the um, television room at the moment, and uh, I'd like a bottle of champagne, please. Any vintage, Mr. Despacker's? Any? Any. Very good, sir. Bill? Bill this back us. Dan? Dan, what are you doing? Where are you? I thought you were in Burma somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is quite flash, isn't it? Okay. Okay, yeah. Well, kids. Looks like there's gonna be another mouth to feed. That was Dan Hudson, the train spotter on the phone. God knows what he's doing here, but he's coming to watch the match with us. Right. Crucial moment. Tell on. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, Vegeta. Imperative subjunctive. May the best team win. Certainly not me in the win. Good luck, Ian. <laughs> I think I'll read, actually. Or go for a walk. It'll be the town's only 30 kilometres away. Good luck, Monica. I'll need it. I'll be done.
evening in Little London. The evening in the pool. I couldn't resist it, mate. The pool in my hotel's full of sodding Germans. Ian Marshall. This is Big Eater. She's a sodding German. Hello, Big Eater. Dan Hudson. Sorry. Pleased to meet you, Dan. You are probably staying at my hotel. It's full of sodding Germans. I can't stand the place. The bomb visceral, something it's called. That's the bomb. Yeah, what a dumb way. Eh? So? Argentina in the final then? Yeah, he touched wood. Is that wood? That Maradona's a little bastard, isn't he? Did you see his handball against Russia? Yeah, he just punched it off the line. I don't want them to just put him in goal and have done with it. <laughs> Poor old Scotland, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Same old story. The trouble with Scotland is that they're good on paper. And shit on grass. Shit on paper. <laughs> Did you see Platt's goal? Oh, God, yes. And the way everyone piled on top of him. Did you see Lineker's face? He couldn't believe it, could he? Oh, it's going to start in a minute. He has to sit down, for God's sake. Well, I, I can't, actually. What, have I taken your place, mate? No, you better stay there. It's all wet now. It's OK. I like standing up. There's a stool in our bathroom. Well, it's not one of mine. No, Bill. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, it's great, this bit. What they do is they do close-ups of all the players and get them to say their own names. And when it gets to Paul Gascoigne... It's the equipo. It does. It does. Watch, watch. Mark Wright. There's Walker. David Platt. Oh, my God! Is that what's he actually? He was very self-aware, eh? Oh, Big Eater, here come you all up. Any jokers in the pack? Of course not. They're all Germans. <laughs> Fair point, well made. So, what brings you to Ibiza then, Dan? There's a little line runs through the valley. I thought I might do a piece on it. Well, that's just a little sort of tourist line. I thought you were doing the Rangoon to Mandalay line. Yeah, but it's my book. What do you care as long as it sounds? Uh, absolutely right. You're the boss. No, hang on a minute. I'm the boss, but you're still absolutely right. Anyway, the football angle's better here, isn't it? Burma didn't even enter the World Cup, did they? At least you can make some footballers in Ibiza. Do you know Graham Sooness is staying in your hotel? Who is Graham Sooness, please? He's the manager of Glasgow Rangers. Very good. Yeah, I bumped into him in the lobby and he apologised to me. <laughs> he calls himself a hard man. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'll never forget the first words Gary Lineker ever said to me. Is it possible, sweet lady, for your laugh to be as beautiful as your eyes? Oh. When we met in the hotel, I couldn't believe what he said. He emerged from the pool, athletically, of course, in one bound, without touching the side. He strolled over and said, My room number's 101. And if you come in half an hour, I won't be surprised. I was a bit surprised at Gary saying that. But I went. Oh. Dan. Dan Hudson. What a shag-wanking disaster. You all right? Two bastard nil. Want a drink? Aren't you Dan Hudson? Yeah. Shouldn't you be at the book launch? One person, more or less, won't make any difference. You did write the book. I hate book launches. Book launches, Vanessa, are a waste of quiche. Why did you call me Vanessa? I always guess women's names. It's a game I play with myself. One day, I'm going to get it right, and when I do, I'm going to get the lady in question a weekend for two in Vienna. i better get it soon, though, because these run out in a month. Well, I'm Monica. I'm Bill's wife, Bill Despacos. Oh, yeah, Bill Despacos. He's got a whole fleet of lorries now, hasn't he? Bill Despacos? He works for your publisher? Oh, yeah, Bill. I liked your book. Oh, you bought one. Ah, oh, free copy. The Train Spotter by Dan S. Hudson. 
When he spots a train, he gets on it. How do you describe the majestic splendor of the Amazonian rainforests? Where can you marvel at the mighty temples of Atahualpa? And how do you find out the Stoke City score when you are 350 miles away from the nearest phone and all the local Indians support Manchester United? Yeah, I hate that. Oh, I think it's quite funny. Yeah, it's crap. Makes it sound like South America's really interesting and Stoke City's crappy and boring. Oh, is South America not interesting then? Yeah, but it's no Stoke on Trent, is it? Stoke City FC is the most important thing in my life. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you are. Would you miss your mother's funeral for a game? My mother would know not to get herself buried on a Saturday afternoon. She loves me. My mother will die in the cricket season. Will you spend an hour with me? Yeah. All right. What was your name again? Vanessa. Different cultures are really funny sometimes, aren't they? For example, I was up in Scotland once. And if you want fish and chips up there, you don't say fish and chips. You say fish supper. Even if it's lunchtime. Fish supper. Or pie and chips. Pie supper. It's like supper means and chips. I wanted to go in and ask for a chip supper and see if I got two lots of chips. Or not. Anyway. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Like You've got a hand at the Shilton, haven't you? What? What? But if you've got a hand to Shilton? It. If you've got it, you've got a hand at the Shilton. It's the law. Go on, Gary! Oh, he is very quick, this Lineker. Yes. This Lineker is very quick. The other one's very slow. Mr. Scheiss and the Gary Lineker and Zine of Arschloch. Hands off, Gary. He's mine. I don't know what women see in Gary Lineker. I mean, isn't he boring, isn't he? Oh, Beardsley was wide! Beardsley was wide! Beardsley was wide, but now he's gone on a diet. Big Eater, you're an exciting and sexy woman. Please don't spoil it by making feeble jokes. Oh, you want me to be a funny Nancy? You like this kind of German? Then you must also expect that I have no sense of humor, Arschloch. What then? Oh, fuck you, fool. Now, there's something I never really understood. Offside. What goes on there? It's really very simple. The ball has to pitch in a line directly between the wickets and strike the batsman on the leg. Got it? Thank you. Oh, Jesus, how long till half time? We're in injury time. Oh, bollocks, I can't wait. Where's the crapper? In there? <laughs> Hey, everybody, let's do that thing, you know. He'll have just, you know, got started, and we shout, go. One, two, three, go! Monica and Spiel, I suspect you believe Ian to be a pillock or a dosy fret? I don't think swearing's particularly funny, Big Eater. Especially the foreigner. Oh, that's it. Half time. No, no. Surely not. And a cry of goal led me to believe somebody had scored. I've been kidded. What a chump. Come and have a look at our expensive view, Dan. I want a word with you. Doing well, aren't we? Not bad. I'm about to have the finest moment of the holiday. Sorry, Monica. I see you're angry, mate. Listen, I know this isn't the best time to bring this up. What? You haven't signed a contract for your new book yet. Yeah. Contract. Well, it's just, um... Well, I heard a rumor you met someone from Houseman's. Yeah, that's enough shop talk. What about this big Gita? Where does she fit in? I think she fancies you, you know. Isn't she with Ian? Well, with, as big Gita would say, is a flexible preposition. You play your cards, right? It is England versus West Germany. Is that a dare? 
If you like. I was always doing stupid dares when I was a kid. I ate a live stag beetle when I was six. Oh, God. No, I had to. It's a quadruple dare, and I was the original damn dare. Always finish, even in practice. All right, then I dare you. I bet you can't. <laughs> I'll give it a couple of minutes if I were here. Shall I get you a beer, Begita? Oh, hello. Uh, Monica, isn't it? Hello, Mr. Hudson. Oh, aren't we formal? Well, don't tell me you'd rather talk to me than watch the game. Nah, it's half time. Long way up, isn't it? Mm. Long way down. Do you dare me? No, please, Dan. Dan, get back here, please. No. One hand. No. One finger. Oh, right. Little finger. Oh, so doesn't kill yourself, then I don't care. Ah! Ah! One help. <laughs> don't care, eh? <laughs> oh! Fair point, well made. <gasps> What are you doing here, anyway? You haven't told him, then, yet? Only when you rang, you said you were going to tell him. Well, does he look like I've told him? How should I know? People are funny with bad news sometimes, aren't they? But sometimes they get relentlessly cheerful. Oh, your family have been hacked to death. Oh, well, never mind. You've got to laugh, haven't you? How should I know? He's English. Have you told him? No, I don't reckon you should. Is that why you came out here? To tell me I shouldn't leave Bill. Well, things are all right as they are, aren't they? Are they? Aren't they? Afternoons. You know. My flat's a slum. Oh, Dan. Take me away from all this. I was afraid you were going to say something like that. Listen, Monica. We've played some great games together. Some really entertaining fixtures. Four all draws with a sending off and a dog on the pitch. I mean, those, those weekends, Vienna, Vanessa, it's great. I just don't want us to get into the first division. We haven't got the stadium. We haven't got the facilities. You two all right down there? Say Narf's on in a couple of minutes. So sad. You and Bill are exactly the same. Don't tell him. He supports Spurs. He's got enough problems. I don't know how to talk to you, Dan. Don't you realise we've got to make decisions? This isn't football. You can't decide the result of a football match. Oh, if only I could. It'll be the same every season. League Division 1 winners, Stoke City. FA Cup winners, Stoke City. European Cup winners, Stoke City. Government, Stoke City. Prime Minister, Jimmy Greenoff. You sad bastard. Well, don't you have a fantasy? No. Teams are coming out! Take it off. Cheers, mate. Look, it's the sea. I've seen it. It's amazing, it's just there. Hmm. Plenty more beer inside if you want some. Got some. You're missing the game, aren't you? Football. Ooh. Wasn't that Big Eater I heard calling you? No, I don't think so. Well, it's been lovely, but uh, I'm getting a bit chilly. I think I'll go inside. Don't go yet. I think you and I should have a little chat.
de Tom Parker tiene posibilidad. Oh, that was close. Could have been it. That could have been it. The strain of this is going to get to me. I'll be knackered by the end of it. Oh, I hope not. Go on, you bastard. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. You're bonkers. Daniel never gave her that. Why should he? I thought you might have a word of him for me. Me? What makes you think he'll listen to me suggesting he should ruin my husband's career? You tell me. I see. So it's like that, is it? You know the travel publications business. It's dog-eat-cat out there. Something else? No, I thought you were going to say that's blackmail. Then I could say, blackmail's an ugly word, this is just business. But you're not going to, are you, so it doesn't matter. I ought to throw you over, you shit. Oh, Britain balcony death plunge horror. Nice one. That was obviously a dive, obviously. Oh, that looked like rather a bad tackle, actually. Anyone like me to get them anything? Not now, Monica. Can't you see it's a free kick? Well, maybe one of our guests might like something, Dad. Not now, Monica. It's a free kick. Yes, could I have another bottle of San Miguel, please, Monica? Not now, Ian. Can't you see it's a free kick? I'll get you one. I want one, too, in any case. Thank you, Big Eater. I think I might support Germany for a bit. Brain is the dangerous one. We've seen him score and come close several times in the tournament. And when they finally take the kick, it's knocked to him and he shoots. It's all right, though. It's gone right up in the air because Parker, the little centre-half, has run out and blocked it from a couple of yards away. Easy for Shilton, that. It's... He's way out of his goal. He can't get back. He's on his ass. He's going in! Oh, Germany score, and I think it's my fault. I don't bloody believe it! Germany score, and I think, yeah, that'll teach you. I don't bloody believe it! Oh, now, be fair, it was a good goal. I don't bloody believe you! Where'd you sudden come from? It's a bloody awful goal! It's a bloody old goal by Stuart Shilton! He's like a wilderness with a drink problem! Oh, did we score? Yes, you bollocking scored! Now look here, I don't mind you swearing at me, but... Oh, I'll thank Christ for that, you soft dick! Now shut your dopey ass mouth till you learn something about football! Perhaps at this point it would be best if I apologize formally for being German. Don't be daft. Only a game after all. You just feel so powerless, don't you? I thought that was the whole point. The whole point was to abdicate responsibility. Thank you, Desmond Morris. Oh! <sighs> Gotta lose, aren't we? There's no way back from this. Oh, Bill, it's only Van Neel. Yes, come on, Billy, chin up. It's not the end of the world. They on the pieces, aren't they? Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it, is there? What if? Monica. What if there was something you could do about it, eh? What do you mean? That trick you used to do, that thing, you remember? 
You are joking, aren't you? You never really tried it on anything else, did you? What's this? What are you talking about? Look, she's magic, Armonica. She's, well, a psychic phenomenon. <sighs> really? <sighs> oh, Bill! I used to... This is the little thing I used to do in the old days. I used to be able to think of Bill and make him ring me. If I wanted him to ring me. I see. So you're thinking if Monica can somehow communicate with the German goalkeeper, she can tell him to ring her and he'll just leave the pitch immediately. Quick, for Gita, what's German for telephone Monica at once? Oh, Ian. No, oh, it's a great plan. It could take him months to even find a number here. Oh, why, you blind bastard? So, I don't understand. Bill, what you want to try? Maybe for Monica to try and will England to score. You really are desperate, aren't you? Monica, come on, there is 15 minutes to go in the World Cup semi-final. What possible harm can it do? I mean, we'll all do it. We'll all join in. Dan, you'll be in it, won't you? Are you kidding? I'm the most superstitious man in the world. You're looking at the man who drank half a pint of beer and tipped the other half over his head for every home game for a whole season. Why? I tried it once and still won. Come on, Monica. Look. Now, look. Turin's up there. Ibiza's down there. This bay faces south, so we must be facing east. So Italy's that way. Well, count me out. Monica? Oh, all right. But you've all got to concentrate. Yeah, yeah. Ready? <laughs> I can't believe you really want me to do Oh, come it. on! All right, concentrate. Imagine. Floating. 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 Hurry up, for God's sake, there's only yes, 12 minutes right, left. Yes, I am floating. Floating out over the pool. Over the pool. Over the pool. Over the pool. And we're going down, down, over the beach. Out, out. Over the sea, and the sea is rushing away beneath us. And there, over the horizon, straight ahead, it's Italy! Oh, my God! What? Passports? You forgot your passports! Shut up. Okay. We're on the outskirts of Turin and we're looking for the stadium. I can see the floodlights. Can you see them? Yeah. 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 All right, all right, we're going down. And I can see the crowd, the pitch, the players, and there's Gary, the number 10 shot. Can I can score. How, how can I? I can help I? No, 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 no. The last thing you said was, come on, Gary, do it for me, and then Gary did it for you. So? So do it again. No! Monica! Oh, for Christ's sake, Bill, I can't make things happen. It was a coincidence. I was humouring you, that's all. <sighs> one, one. We can still do this. God, I wish I knew about this flying thing before, and I had stoked back in the first ages ago. It was incredible. What's she doing? She's doing another goal. Just a coincidence, she said. Now listen to me, Gary Lineker. What do you think you're up to? I can't have you going real on me. It's been a game of two halves. 90 minutes on the day and so on. And now it's time to get on the coach with the rest of the team and wave goodbye. I sort of gone back to Michelle. Go on. Bill. I'm leaving you. I'm sorry, I'm leaving you after eight years of sometimes not too unhappy marriage. And I'm going to live with Dan Hudson. Oh, yeah, right. Well, I'm not, am I? Dan. Dan, I'm sorry, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you after eight months of sneaking around and occasional weekends in Europe. And I'm going back to my husband. <sighs> Extra time. Oh, God, you don't mean there's more.
Look. Bill's World Cup wall chart. You know Monica burnt his first one. Between me, you and the bedpost, Bill and Monica aren't getting on very well. Work's not going very well for him. He takes refuge in this sort of thing. Look at the care he's put into it. Six different coloured pens. It's sad, really. He disappears into his own little world because nobody listens to him anymore. Hello? You're amazing. I've got to tell you something. Where's Dan and Begita? I don't know. I reckon they're getting a sweat up in a broom cupboard. Dan wouldn't do that, would he? Begita wouldn't do that. Would she? Oh, she would. She would. She would not. She would. How do you know? Yes. How do you know? She and I have a sort of bet. A bet? The deal was that if England wins, she has to have sex with an Englishman tonight. <sighs> well, she didn't say she would, did she? Oh, but she did. And what about if Germany win? What do you have to do? Have sex with a German girl, perhaps? Don't be daft. Am I the Englishman? Not anymore, I don't think. So, Dan muscled in on your bet. Don't you resent that? No, good for him. Can't begrudge him, can you? Such a good bloke. Oh, listen to me, Bill! What now, Monica, whatever you want to say can wait till the end of the game. We are 30 minutes away from the World Cup final, for Christ's sake. Unless there's penalties, 45 minutes. Yeah. And then we're in the final. And then we have to wait until the end of the final, and then there's penalties. And we have to wait until the end of the penalties. And then we have to wait until Gary Lineker goes up and gets the trophy. Then till the team get on the bus and drive back through Luton. And then... It's next season. And the most important game for Spurs, it's the last most important, important game for Spurs. And then we have to wait a bit more because we are just so used to waiting that nothing else is possible. Look! It won't be Gary Lineker getting the trophy. Terry Butcher's the captain. Before they start again? Not long, a couple of minutes. Dan will want to be back for that, won't he? What was his bet again? If England win, they haven't won yet, have they? It was just meant to be a joke. A joke? It's not a joke. Put in a jar of pickled onions in somebody's case with the top loosened, that's a joke. You're a sad bastard, aren't you? Oh, hello, Mr. Pot. My name's Mr. Kettle. Ah, has it started yet? Just. Where's Begita? Oh, we went for a stroll. She met Graham Souness in the toilet. I can't quite work that one out. They've gone for a drink in the bar. Do you think Wright's got it in him? It? I thought if you had it, you had to hand it to Shilton. Brilliant. That was almost funny. Did you just do it with Begita? Where's Monica? Oh, she's having a lusty lesbian rub with Begita while Graham Sooners watches. I hope so. Did you do it with Begita? Ah, oh, the lovely Begita. Watch it. That's my fiance you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Does she know that? Did you do it with her? Was there time? Yes. You were gone for nearly five whole minutes. Well, perhaps I boiled an egg as well then. They brought any subs on? Stephen. You're just an animal, aren't you? You ride roughshod over everything. I couldn't believe it, the things you get up to in your books. From brothels in Bogota, venereal disease in Venezuela, Dan Hudson kicks shit in everybody's faces. Well, you liked him enough to make me an offer. Ian. Ian made you an offer when? A couple of months ago. A 
couple of months ago. What sort of offer? He said he could get a better deal for me at Houseman's. But he doesn't work for Houseman's. He doesn't work for anybody since that business at Tate's. No, but Houseman's would have taken him on, though, if... If he'd bought them you, you mean, you little shit. I couldn't have gone with him, though. Don't tell me you thought it was unethical. No, there was a Houseman's used to play for Chelsea, scored twice against us, 70-71. Ian. When this game ends, I'm going to throw you off the balcony. You too. Look, this is just business, Bill. Hence all the questions about how so-and-so is getting along and what Tates are planning for next year. God almighty, and you know that if I lose Dan, I'll be out of my ass, don't you? Don't you? Well, I think how long you and me have been friends. Friends! Gonna be yellow card. No, he, he's gonna miss the final. There he goes. Oh, he's gonna miss the final. He's crying. Look. Oh yeah, but imagine missing the World Cup final. What do you think you're doing for Christ's sake? Big Eater. Now look, Big Eater. If you don't turn that on. What? Will you hit me? What? Monica is unhappy. I'm unhappy you switched the World Cup off! I'm going for a walk, Ian. Perhaps Graham Sue Ness would like to go Ian, for Ian, I'm going oh, for a walk. Monica! Bill. I have got to tell you something. I know. Turn the telly on. I've been seeing Dan. I know. Turn the telly on. Dan? Monica. Turn the telling on. No. Now you are going to talk about this. This is your lives. Your real lives. I don't want to watch the match. Just tell me the result. I was just going to say a thing that Monica always says. What? She always says that men, when they get together, they never talk about the things that, that, that they really care about, about their emotions. They just talk about football. That's crap. Isn't it? Yeah, it's crap. was a cold, wasn't it? Linicus? Yeah. Swept it past and put it behind and that was a striker's goal. So what she doesn't understand, Monica, is... The things that men do care about, that, that, that really do matter, that they do get emotional about... Well, they are football. Exactly. I mean, We've got to decide what's really important here. It's extra time in the World Cup semi-final. I can't believe that she switched it off. I mean, what, are we kids? No, we're grown-ups. We can sort this out between ourselves. There's no need for hysterics. I mean, the Spanish commentary is what? I mean, how are we going to know if they scored while we weren't watching? Exactly. Exactly. We could just turn it on again. No, she'd hear. With the sound light down. No, she'd hear, she'd hear. She's outside. 
All right, switch on. Don't you dare! See? Oh, God, I can't stand this. Look, I've been sleeping with Monica. I'm sorry. I'll jump off the balcony if you want. I will. Just say the word. Did you know before? I wondered. Something you said earlier on when Germany scored. Eh? Anyway, it's embarrassing. You must decide what you want to do. Between the two of you. I think I should find another publisher just to say, you know, it's embarrassing for you. No, there's no need. Not Ian. You know I wouldn't do that, don't you? What's going to happen? I don't know. Tell you and find out. Yeah. What's happening? All sitting down. Oh Jesus! It's penalties. Oh, I can't watch penalties. I never watch penalties. Well. Penalties. What was that scream? What's going on? I thought you'd all be each other's friends. It's penalties. Oh yes, Bill. Something else I wanted to tell you earlier. Ian tried to blackmail me into helping him poach Dan from you. That's a joke! If England lose this, if England lose this, Ian, my one happiness is that after today I will never see you again. Cuckold! Well, if only Begita could hear me say that. Dad, I bet you that if England lose you, Dan throw Ian off the balcony. Don't, Bill. I dare you. Now, Dan. Spanish prisons are terrible. You saw Midnight Express. I quadrupled there, you. I can't watch penalties. I never watch them. Oh, God, I can't watch it either. I can't bear it. Do you want me to tell you what happens? Yes? Get ready of that. Looks like it's going to be England first. That's good. The pitch will probably deteriorate by the fifth penalty. Here's the first one. It's Gary Lineker. He's running up now. Straight down the middle. One nil. Yes! Gary Lineker, the queen mother of football. This one's called Bramey. Two goals in Italian 90, apparently. One one. Bollocks to it, what a shack wanking disaster. Well, I think how long you and me have been friends. Friends! Next, it's Beardsley. Top right-hand corner, 2-1. Yes! Yes! So sad. You and Bill are exactly the same. Now comes Matt House. Shilton goes the right way, but nowhere near it. 2-2. Two -two. I think I should find another publisher. You know that if I lose Dan, I'll be out of my arse, don't you? All right, for England, this is Platt. Here he comes. Keeper's got a hand to it, oh. but it's gone in. 3-2. Yes! May the best team win. Certainly not may England win. What about if Germany win? Next German is Riddle. Wax it in, Shilton, no chance. 3-3. The most important game in 24 years, I can't bear it. Who's this one? Pierce. He looks really nervous. And Pierce, and Pierce, and Pierce. Oh, come on, free to England! Yeah! It's not over yet. The England team said exhausted in the huddle in the centre circle. And this is Tom, the number 20. And Shilton saves it! Unbelievable! A fabulous save! And England is just one kick away from the World Cup final and... Gary Lineker steps up to take it. He's already taken one, but under the new rule, he can take up to three! 
Interested. His legs are brown, his name is Gary, he's the man Monica's gonna marry. Damn, we should talk again about housemans, you know? I mean, I know you don't like me, but that's because you don't know me. And at least I'm not raving bonkers. I mean, look at him. Gary's gonna take us to Rome for the final. You what? Gary who? Gary Lineker. You don't think Gary Lineker's gonna turn up here, do you? Gary's coming! And I have finished, but it doesn't matter now you're here, Gary. Monica doesn't want me either, not now you're here, Gary. Dan meant nothing to me, Gary. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. Do your thoughts really smell of perfume? <laughs> Can you take us to the final, Gary? Gary. Fags don't give you cancer anymore, do they, Gary? Stoke are going to get promoted now, aren't they, Gary? I'd love to publish my World Cup glory by Gary Lineker, Gary. Didn't you see the penalties? No, I was talking with Graham soon as at the bar. But he was watching them, wasn't he? Oh, no. He is Scottish. He is too hard. He was telling me. But he was very helpful because I'm going to Scotland on my honeymoon. 
honeymoon. Your honeymoon? Yes, this is my last summer as a single girl. You're getting married? Yes. Oh. But what about this bet with Bill? Oh, yes. I bet that if England won, I would sleep with an Englishman. <laughs> have you? Well, how can I have? The game has only just ended. I don't even know who won. Oh, yes. Thank you, senor. No change, sorry. Somebody's ordered some champagne. So, who won? England won. England won on penalties. <laughs>